Hello everyone. I thought I would take you along with me as I begin a new journal. I had already started working on it and then I thought this is a fun and different kind of journal and I thought it would be fun for you to come along with me. I signed up for a swap on Junk Journal Junkies which I haven't done in a long time because I've been busy with custom orders and journals for my shop and I still have custom orders to do but I could not resist this swap. It's a paper doll journal. And as you can see, I love paper dolls. I've collected these for many years. And my mother collected them, and so she gave me hers when she moved. And I have my daughter's paper dolls from when she was a little girl. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of the paper doll books that I have. Um, this is just a small selection of them. Most of them are reproductions or just new paper dolls. I do have a few vintage. Tom Tierney does a lot of uh, paper dolls for um, Dover. I'm trying to find it. Dover Publications. I used to get a catalog in the mail, but I don't even know if they print the catalogs anymore. Um, but I'm sure you could find them online. So this is Ballet Stars. I have several ballet books. So there's one. I've got a lot of Tom Tierney books. He does fashion books and um, um, period books, like for decade, certain decades and stuff. This I probably picked up on vacation somewhere. Sorry, it's glaring. I found it in a gift shop or something, and it's Robin Hood and Maid Marian. It looks like it's designed after the Kevin Costner film because that's Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio's hair. <laughs> and that looks like Kevin Costner. So I haven't cut any of these out. Some of my paper dolls I have started to cut out, but and there's some pages to color in there. Um, from the same company, which is, by the way, I should look it up, Peck, Peck Gondre. But I found these in a gift shop also, and it's Sleeping Beauty. Oops, sorry. And then here's another set of Tom Tierney paper dolls from Dover, great fashion designs of the 40s. And I had cut these out. I don't think I have them all cut, but I made these glassine bags. I have this glassine on rolls that I got years ago at Michael's when they put them on clearance and so I made my own little glassine bags and put the dolls in here so one doll in each bag one doll in her costume nope there's yeah it's just one doll Tom Tierney's dolls are pretty much you get the, the doll and then the outfit is pretty much another whole doll except for one Except her face might be missing, or in this case, it's just part of her face. I mean, even her hands are added because it's gloved. But, you know, you get the hairdo. Oh, they're tangled. The hat, or the hairdo, and then the face is cut out. But anyway, they're fun, and I love the eras of fashion. So there's another doll in this package. I got this uh, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, paper doll set after her wedding. It includes Prince William and Prince George, so it must have been after the the birth of George. Isn't isn't Charlotte older than George? Am I wrong about that? Yeah, I guess I guess George came first. So I'll have to watch for. Um, Megan. This is part of the collection that was my daughter's Mickey Mouse. I don't prob think I'll probably ever do anything with these because they're just cute and I want to keep them. So there's Mickey and Minnie. His Their little noses came off. These were well loved. They've got the popsicle sticks on the back to make them sturdier. Really cute costumes. Kind of like a 20s or 30s style with the flapper dress and the little roadster car. <clears throat> They're cute. 
another one that was my daughter's is Full House. So this is from the 80s. My daughter was born in 1980. She loved to watch Full House. So it's got all the, the girls from the Full House family and their clothes and a little, little purse to keep or a suitcase or something to keep their clothes in. So that could be a study in young girls' fashions from the 80s right there. Another one of my daughters is Beauty and the Beast. These are the golden um, paper doll books you used to be able to find in any grocery store or department store in the book department, which they don't even do that anymore. I never see paper dolls. And I always loved paper dolls when I was a little girl. And I always bought them for my daughter, too. The Little Mermaid and Muppet Babies, she used to like to watch. And Barbies and the Bear Family, this is cute. Aren't they adorable? So I'm glad that we still have my daughter's paper dolls. I wish I had mine from when I was a little girl. And my mother had a lot of paper dolls when she was little, but she always bemoaned the fact that her mother threw away her box of paper dolls. Okay, so I think that's it for my daughter's. I have more of hers, but I didn't bring everything in here. I got these Madeline paper dolls somewhere. I don't know where, but they're just really, really cute. I have Flower Fairies paper dolls, which I think I ordered from Amazon and I may use some of them in fairy journals that I want to make. They're double-sided. Another one of my daughters is Happy Bears. You can color the costumes from different countries. And she never even cut the dolls out. Barbie, Let's Shop, Snow White, this is a collection of Tom Tierney books, Four Decades of Great Designs. They would have originally been released with the decades separate, but this was a, just a collection, so it's um, thinner paper. It's not so much cardstock as the other ones are. But So it goes from 60s through the 90s, oh, 2000, 1960 to 2000. So, and these are... Um, fashion designer type of clothes. I love the reproductions of vintage paper dolls, and this is Letty Lane. Apparently she was a popular paper doll back in the day. 27 antique paper dolls, and this was my mother's. So here's some with the um, Letty Lane's Around the World Party, in which her married sister sends her pictures of a Japanese girl and a Japanese boy. So there's Japanese and there's Chinese. Russian. Norwegian. So, they're fun ones. This one I picked out. I used to order a lot of these from the Dover catalog. Evelyn Gaything's Victorian Pets paper dolls. So they're just... Large, furry animals with Victorian-style clothes. <laughs> Look at the cat. And he has a little doll. She has a little doll. They're adorable. American Colonial Brides. I think I found this in a gift shop, too. Fifteen ninety four, sixteen oh eight. Look how young she was. Sixteen forty. And it just goes on. Uh, Victorian mouse. I love this one. Crystal Collins Sterling. I think I have a few of hers. Aren't they cute? Lavender and Pansy. Oops, sorry. And Hollyhock and Columbine. 
and there are little twin baby mice. Just adorable. Another Evelyn Gaithings Old Fashioned Children. I have some of the American Girls, Samantha's Paper Dolls and Kristen's Paper Dolls. Kathy Allert, I have some of hers. A tr traditional folk costumes of Europe, so they're just children with folk costumes. And then again, Kathy Allert with the American, North American Indian girl and boy. Dress your bear, seven bears to cut out and dress. And just quickly, I'll show you the vintage ones. I got this at an antique store, Betsy Ross and her friends. There's clothing in there. So these are really cute. And I got this package at a flea market. She had a lot of packages of paper dolls, but I couldn't afford. I think they might have been $5 in envelope. But this one said Julie Andrews and Grace Kelly on it, so I picked this one up. I was hoping that more would be there when I went again, but they weren't. I got these last year. And there's more than that in there. They're, they're kind of confusing, but I have to go through. I think there are clothes in here that don't belong to any of the dolls, so I can use the clothes in a journal. So this is Julie Andrews and outfits for her. And this one, I don't see Grace Kelly. I don't think that's Grace Kelly. I think that's some other doll. But I think this outfit goes with her. You can tell how vintage they are. The kind of paper they're on. Um, so I don't think I got Grace Kelly in here. Maybe that lady thought this was Grace Kelly, but it's, it's sure not Grace Kelly. I don't think. Do you think that looks like Grace Kelly? Here's the packaging from the Julie Andrews doll. And then, I don't know if this was in the package or if I actually bought two packages, but these are like 1940s dolls. I think they were all inside that same envelope. So these are really nice. But some of the clothes don't go with these dolls. So I can use the clothes in the junk journal. And in addition, I collected paper dolls that I could get out of magazines. Well, here's, here's a set. I have this set uncut in a book and I forgot which one it is but it's a reproduction vintage and my mother had these all cut out and gave them to me so I'm going to be using these in the junk journals that I make because I have an uncut book of those and then this one also um, is a little Dover book and I think it was my niece's but it was with the things my mom gave me I bought this Mary Englebright Paper Pals activity calendar from 2003 I've never done anything with it but it opens up. You've got paper doll clothes on the flaps on both sides and a scene here. And there are paper dolls somewhere. So each month has a different scene. Here are some paper dolls. Audrey Ann, Ann Estelle, Tommy, and Gracie. She used to do paper dolls in every Mary Englebright magazine. I don't know if she still does. I used to buy the magazine a lot. But I just got, found this calendar. Um, my mother also gave me these paper dolls that are all cut. And I have an uncut book of these. Victorian type of dolls. And um, she liked the... She likes the... All I can think of is Campbell's Soup. Anyway, she likes those dolls. The same artist did the Campbell Soup Kids. I know the artist's name, but I can't remember. Now this folder has dolls that I've collected from magazines. So these Mary Englebright ones came out of magazines, and they were ones you color. Um, there was a doll magazine that I used to buy that had paper dolls in it, too. And even, well, remember Betsy McCall? She used to be in McCall's magazine every year. 
or every month. And they did a special. This is in 1995. In May and in August, they brought some of them back or did new ones or something. So I saved those. And this was a special one from the Oscars. And these are Tom Tierney, um, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Nicole Kidman. I think I have, oh, Gwyneth Paltrow. I have to make copies of them because they're printed on both sides there. So I thought that the ones that I saved from magazines would be awesome to use in junk journals. These are from the doll magazine that I used to get. The doll collector. The collector's magazine, I guess. So there's Eva and her clothes. Our little Gladys. And I love this little doll. I, um cut her out a long time ago when I still had a, a Xyron machine and so she's laminated. That's what I was trying to say. She's laminated. Um, more Mary Englebright. More from the doll book. This is from a Geico ad. <laughs> um, this was from just a newsstand Where'd she go? I'll, I'll find her. Pretty in paper. So this is a, probably a vintage set of Gone with the Wind dolls and other dolls. I don't know what magazine this came out of. Romantic Homes. There's Shirley Temple. Here's the from the newsstand magazine. Just And I um, laminated her too. Woman's World magazine. So it's a flapper. More Mary Englebright. Quite a few of them in there. This is from my daughter's collection. I don't know who these are. She would know. Zizi, Mimi, and Stacy. They're probably from some cartoon that she used to watch. And more from magazines. Mickey and Minnie, Smokey the Bear. Billy the Bear. And I love this one. Tina. Pris Pris Priscilla Hillman. I used to like it when the Priscilla Hillman dolls were in the Doll Collector's Magazine. This one's cute, too. This is Susan Hoffman. More teddy bears. Must be this was the teddy bear pocket here. And I guess that's it. So, as you can see, I have plenty to use in paper doll journals. So, I'm going to start a new video and show you how I've started on this paper doll project and let you come along with me. I'll be right back.